So you open up in the book about, like, speaking of being personal from the beginning, that's why I loved about how raw and real you are, because I feel like sometimes that's few and far between with people in the public eye. Um, but you, you had to make an impossible decision during a pregnancy. And, um, and I have known people that have had the same scenario. So what happened, you know, with this situation? How did you cope with it? Because a, that's a big thing to open up about. Well, what's interesting is that when I for when we had to make a decision because we found out once we got into the second trimester, by the way, which usually, you know, once you get into that, you're like, I'm in the clear. Yeah. But we found out when we were into our second trimester that there were um, some pretty devastating health problems um, and that the baby was at risk. I was at risk. The baby probably wouldn't survive and that I was at risk for caring any longer. And we really weren't in a position to, the writing was on the wall. There was nothing we could do. Mm. Um, and it, my, my husband and I often say that was the worst day of our lives, um, making that decision. And it's, once I went through it, I was really mad at my body and myself. Like I thought I did something to cause it, which I didn't. I didn't, yeah. you know, but you just are trying so hard to find an answer and I found that once I went through that, I started finding out about these other women who've gone through similar losses mm -hmm. and nobody was talking about it. Yeah. But I felt that it was really important to write about it because I wanted other people to be able to feel safe to share their story. And mm -hmm. the fact that I wrote about it, I can't tell you how many people have reached out. I can't imagine how much it's helped them. And now they're able to vocalize what they went through or they feel seen and heard. And it's something that was really hard for me to share, but I'm so glad I did because it, it really helped again, build this community and made it safe for, for people to talk about. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm one who loves therapy. So I just sometimes like learning and therapy, like just saying it aloud helps you right. heal like just saying it out loud and not keeping it inside and it just kind of building up like saying it aloud helps the person saying it just as much as somebody connecting to the message and feeling the same way so it's very brave and it's very cool and you're a very strong woman subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel please don't make me keep going